Hi everyone and welcome to our second episode of Sunday Brunch with Ruby Rose. As I explained last week, if you, by the way, missed last week's episode, then I'll leave the link up here. Just click that little link there. But as I explained, we are doing a new series that is based in the galley and is in response to your questions about how we use the galley, what kind of food we eat, how we cook, storage solutions, galley hacks, all things related to living on a boat and cooking and eating on a boat. So, last week we did a quiche. You guys really loved that episode, so thank you for all your comments. And this week we are doing a very, very simple bread recipe. And believe me, if I can do this recipe, then anyone can. I used to be really intimidated by making bread myself, um, but this is literally, I can't believe that it took me so long to work out how easy it is. So I'm going to show you just how I do it. This is an overnight, no need, whole wheat bread recipe. Um, so yeah, try saying that 10 times fast. But basically what that means is that it's super easy. You just put all your ingredients in a bowl, you leave it overnight, you don't need it. You just leave it for 12 or 14 hours and then in the morning it's ready for you to shape and then put in the oven. So what I did last night was I put two cups of whole wheat flour into a bowl, one cup of water, just plain old water from the tap is fine half a teaspoon of dried yeast and one teaspoon of salt and I just mix it all together until it formed like a wet dough. Um, sometimes depending on exactly how much water you add it might look more like a paste but that's totally fine. The amount of water it can kind of take a little bit more water or a little bit less um, and then you just cover it in cling film or glad wrap as I say in Australia and you literally just leave it on the bench overnight and then in the morning when you wake up you'll be ready for you to shape which is what we're about to do right now. Okay, so in the morning your dough should be doubled in size and all you do is you, well I use a piece of baking parchment because I find it a little bit easier to handle but you can just put this straight onto any work surface. Make sure it's really well floured and I do mean really well floured, this is a wet dough. And then just tip the dough onto your floured surface. And then what you want to do, and it's kind of um, easier to show you than to put into words, but you just take each corner and you just fold that corner into the middle until all of the floured exterior has uh, kind of folded over the sticky inside, if that makes sense. So once that's done, then you turn the dough over so that the folded part is on the bottom. And then you just use your hands to shape it into a rough ball or any shape that you desire actually but I just use a kind of a round shape um, and then you leave it to prove again for another 30 to 40 minutes and on a warm boat then it's usually about 30 minutes it doesn't need to double in size again it just needs to puff up a little bit and then it's ready to go in the oven 